I would like to go over the inner ear as briefly and hopefully as clearly as possible because it's always an area of confusion, mostly because there are so many tiny little cells that are named all after different guys. But from an identification point of view, I think we could nail this down in a couple of minutes. This is a very, very nice section through the inner ear. In addition, because the inner ear is very close to the brain, you could probably qu quickly recognize this tissue as being cerebellum. But let's ignore that for now, because as you might remember, the internal ear contains the semicircular canals, the vestibule, and the cochlea, all intimately wrapped up into the bony labyrinth of the petrous portion of the temporal bone. The uh, cochlea, which is the spiral structure here, has its classical features. The vestibule, which consists of the saccule and utricle, and therefore uh, the macula, which is the organ of static equilibrium, we will identify here. And the uh, semicircular canals uh, will be in various places. This may very well be part of one, but we'll look at in another slide the portion where the semicircular canal is dilated, called the ampulla, in which the crista uh, will be identified. Let's look at the uh, and look at the salient features of it. This is the cochlea. It looks like little cuts through uh, a snail. It, grossly, it actually looks like a snail. In the cochlea, you will see uh, the various uh, scala. And one way to uh, instant look at scala is to look at uh, the parts of the cochlea in which you see this thin membrane, which is called the vestibular membrane. You will also see another cavity a smaller one on this side of the vestibular membrane. You'll see a larger cavity on this side of the vestibular membrane. You will then see a tectorial membrane over here and a basilar membrane over here and then another chamber. And just to make things easy, the one in the middle in which you have the organ of corti, which is this region here, is called the scala media. The scala media is a lymph whereas the scala, the large scala, on the other side of the vestibular membrane is called the scala vestibuli, which is filled with perilymph, as is the larger scala on the other side of the basilar membrane, which is the scala tympani. So we have ves scala vestibule, vestibular membrane, scala media, organ of corti area, basilar membrane, tectorial membrane, and then the scala tympani. The scala tympani and vestibuli being filled with perilymph and the scala media being filled with endolymph. The uh, tectorial membrane basically makes contacts with a series of cells here. The uh, three cells towards the end of this tectorial membrane, which is not perfectly in place, are the three outer hair cells. There will also be another hair cell more proximal to the base of the tectorial membrane called the single inner hair cell. So you have three outer hair cells, one inner hair cell, the tectorial membrane, and it is the vibrations of this basilar membrane here which causes a mechanical uh, interface between the tectorial membrane and these three outer cells and one inner cell to actually be the area in the organ of corti where the uh, sound, uh, where the vibratory motion gets converted into electrical impulses. Uh, you can see very close to the organ of corti a large ganglion, which is the spiral ganglion. And you see the representing uh, area of a ganglion and some nerves. Everything else here you will recognize classically as being dense bone. And this is part of it. If we go down a little further, we'll recognize another area uh, also within the bone labyrinth. Lucky enough to get it in the same as the cochlea. This is the vestibule. 
And this is the part of the vestibule that is either the saccule or the utricle in which the uh, macula are present. And the macula are the cells or the site of uh, uh, nerve impulses where the uh, sensation of static equilibrium uh, used. It is easy to recognize uh, either the saccule or utricle because you will see the macula here as this series of cells in which you have a gelatinous substance coating the surface which is called the uh, otolithic uh, membrane and you can see these very small uh, calcules in the otolithic membrane which are the actual otoliths and it is the action of these calcium particles within the gelatinous substance of the otolithic membrane which will uh, take these uh, mechanical impulses to the macula here and eventually uh, exchange that into nerve impulses which will help uh, determine uh, the uh, sense of static equilibrium. If you go a little bit further, we will see another uh, small area, which may be like be a part of a semicircular canal as well. Uh, there are semicircular canals. They would probably be better uh, off called three-quarter circular because they're a little bit more than half, but they're not fully circular, in which uh, you will see uh, the organ of dynamic equilibrium uh, take place, uh, and we will see that.